All right, guys, we're starting on the ABA tier list, and keep in mind that this tier list is completely subjective, and it's just my personal opinion based on these characters' move sets and how they would work in like a one v one scenario. So keep that in mind while I'm showing you the tier list here. Um, I'm not gonna go over each individual character, but I will like uh, I'll I'll um I'll pick and choose on ones that I think are important to touch on. So let's go through E tier. The reason I put uh, pre time skip Sasuke E tier is if you look at his moves, they're just really not that good. Maybe E tier is a bit too harsh, maybe it's D tier, and my opinion kind of got a little the best of me on that one. But Chidori, I don't like any of those Sengon or Chidori moves unless it can like throw you, like Naruto's. Um, his primary Lotus is fine, it's probably his best move. Shuriken is inaccurate and really bad, and the only good thing you can do with it is really if you know how to ladder with it, it can be good. Fireball is really, really bad. It does low damage even if you hit it, and it's really iffy to land, and none of his moves really lead into each other, and that's why I put him at E tier. Rukia, I put her at D tier, um, because really her, her base is just extremely low damage, her awakening got buffed recently, and it's pretty good, so I put her at D tier. Maybe she deserves C tier. All Might, self-explanatory. You need to run and hide the entire time, and he's just not fun. His awakening is fine, but you're not really going to win because you're throwing away stocks the majority of the time. He doesn't even heal when he awakens. Gon, you have to die when you awaken. Not worth it. His moves are predictable. Chica is self-explanatory. Gara is the epitome of C tier. Law, you have to run and hide. Kakashi, also self-explanatory, really. Similar reasons to Sasuke is just better. Goku. If you've played Goku, you know he's C tier. Shunsui, everybody knows Shunsui is like the most balanced character in the game. Um, skipping through. All right. Well, not skipping through just yet, but Aizen. Aizen, I don't like him. I don't like him at all. People play him. His guard break. If you literally just double jump, his guard break like misses. His uh, evasive. Not his evasive. His evasive is fine, I guess. Uh, his black box is easily blockable. His awakening's good, but it doesn't even put him that high up. He's really, like, he's not worth 3600, however much he is on the roster. He's not worth it at all. Skipping through, um, we go to Saber. Saber's B2. Like, she's strong. She has two movesets. One of them doesn't have any guard breaks, or most of them good guard breaks. She's pretty strong. Her awakening's really good. Balanced. Good character. Jorno. I don't like his awakening because it makes you waste your entire awakening to get one move off, but it also wastes, like, it can waste your opponent's awakening if they do it then and you get back to full health, so I guess that's a pro. His base is fine, it's nothing crazy. Um, Pain? Pain is like, Pain got gutted, nerfed, he's alright. Uh, Itachi's low damage, but other than that, he's pretty good. Um, Yamamoto, he's... I feel like I feel like I got him perfectly. I've seen people rank him higher, rank him lower. I think he's just like this. Maybe his guard break could argue A tier. Uh, Vegeta, you can interrupt explosive wave, so it doesn't have knockback anymore. Only reason he's at B tier now. Um, Madara B tier, yeah, makes sense. Todoroki has a really good guard break, but defrosting takes a while. Sasuke, post time skip Sasuke, maybe A tier, maybe even S tier if you really are good at him. But I don't know. To me, he's just B tier. Okay, I could argue A tier though. Um, pretty time skip Zoro, B tier. Really just B tier. No matter how you look at it, it's just pretty much B tier. Rockley, same thing. Alright, now we get into the A tier, so there's a lot, so I'm not gonna touch on these as much. Or I might, depending on how long we have um, by the end of it. I might go back and touch on some people that I skipped over. Um, her at the bottom, I don't remember her name, I haven't watched Bleach. Her guard break's really good. She has a move that goes through guard, that's really good. She has like a flash step move that leads into an M1 combo, which is also really good. But it's just her slam downs, AoE got nerfed, her awakening, I don't like the fact that you can't sprint. It feels really awkward. If, if I got used to it, maybe I could put her at S tier, but I don't know. Her awakening's kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Gojo, he's A tier. All, after all the nerfs and all the stuff they've done to him, unlimited void can only be done once. Uh, uh, purple, That purple move uh, is one shot, guardable. It only tracks during Unlimited Void. After all the nerfs, he's pretty balanced. Um, Ichigo. Uh, Hollow Ichigo. A tier, to be honest. He's just fine the way he is. 
Post, um, mm, nah, post time skip Sanji makes sense. Uh, Busaka Goku. I put Busaka Goku at A tier. Some people say he's S tier. Uh, if you miss Flash Fist, you, 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 you can't do anything. Busaka Gokus don't know what to do when they miss Flash Fist and it's their downfall. 10 times out of 10. So, they sit at A tier. It's the only thing really holding him back from S tier, to be honest. Tanjiro, I put him at A tier. I don't know. His base is really, like, his base is... It's subpar. Like, it's not great. It's, it's okay. But his awakening is really good. Really, really good. Two shot anything. Any two moves probably could two shot really easily. Um, Yorichi, I think that's the ice guy's name. He's solid. Um, Kilo's awakening is really good. Um, how about we touch on... Neji. Alright, Neji's in A tier because if you really think about it, Explosive Kunai is a guard break if you land it, which it's not hard to land if you just pop it mid M1 combo. And they, what, they back up, they'll get caught in stun lock, you get a free M1 combo off. His, um, his, uh, 64 palm rotation is, it gives you iframe, so you could iframe, like, one-shot moves if you're good at timing it. It also, it's a guard break. Perfect offense, perfect defense move. Like, it's just really solid. Oh, somebody you guys might not agree with in A tier is pre-time skip Naruto. Listen, Uzumaki Barrage works as a combo extender, because if they get slammed, you can start them running again. Clone throw into a Rasengan is really hard to dodge, and it's really good. And really, uh, summoning Shadow Clones during an M1 combo is just free damage. So, he's just really solid, and I put him in A tier. Um... Let's move on to S tier because I want to touch up uh, uh, touch up on S tier. Goku Black, easy S tier. All his moves play himself. Ace, I really like Ace. He has high combo ability with uh, Flame Pillar also grants high frames. If you hit it, Fire Gun, really good. And Fire Fist is probably his worst move. It's pretty hard to hit. How long wind up it doesn't even guard break. Punishable because of end lag. Broly, self explanatory. Pre time skip Sanji, really like pre time skip Sanji. He's um. Really heavy hitting, especially in his awakening. Jonathan is easily the best starter. One can one shot combo with two moves and um, like summon ones. Josuke, really good, really underrated. Probably my favorite JoJo character to be honest. Dopio's up there too. Um, time skip Zoro, explainable. Cauliflot, she's really underrated because her beam goes out really fast, does really good damage. Energy fist can be chucked into M1 combos and give you free damage. Diavolo. Really good sword range dem ones. It doesn't even have a sword. He gets his awakening really quick. He's like a better All Might. Literally, why would you ever get All Might? Play Dopia. Probably JoJo DLC is the best. Dio is a better Jotaro easily. Hiei is really good. And um, Emiya. I know his last name's Emiya because he's Shiro's dad, but um, he's also really good. Even though he got nerfed recently, he's still S tier. That is my tier list. I know. I rushed on it a bit. And people like Chica didn't really get full explanations on to why they're down there. But I hope you can understand. And I hope this tier list helped people who are just starting to play ABA now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.